In this video, we're going to cut a gem using the gem creator. We're going to cut a standard round brilliant. Here are the instructions. Here's a visual representation of what we're going to do. First, we're going to cut the pavilion, then we're going to cut the girdle, and then we're going to cut the crown, and then finally, we're going to cut and polish the table. I'll be keeping track of the hands on time, so let's get started cutting the pavilion, the P12, with a 500 grit lap. This is what the first tier of facets looks like. You can see that all 16 facets meet at a meet point in the very centre of the stone, that's the culet. Now that we have our meet point, we're going to go ahead and cut the girdle. This is the G1 tier of facets, cut at 90 degrees using the 500 grit lap. This step is going to determine the girdle size of our stone. It's important to take your time with this step because when you start, your stone isn't going to be perfectly round. And if you want to cut a round stone, you're going to have to be very careful to make sure that each facet is exactly the right, cut to the right depth. So to do that, I use this micrometer here. It's a digital micrometer. And by rotating the stone, I can make sure that all my facets uh, or the width of my stone is the same all the way around the stone. Uh, you can see here that it isn't perfectly round, so I'm going to spend more time making sure that it is perfectly round. Now that we've finished making our cuts with the 500 grit lap, we're going to go back and use the 3000 grit lap to recut all those facets. So we're going to start with the pavilion P1 facets and cut them with the 3000 grit lap. Here you can see that the 3000 grit lap puts a much smoother surface on the stone, and we're going to need that before we go on to polishing. And so just as we cut the pavilion with 3000 grit lap, we're going to cut the girdle with the 3000 grit lap. Now that all these facets have been cut with the 3000 grit lap, it's time to start polishing them. So we're going to polish the P1 and the P2 facets with a one micron polishing film. You can see it's pink here. No difference from cutting, except now we just overlay this polishing film over the top of the lap. So here you can see the difference between the polished uh, P1 facets and the uh, unpolished P2 facets. I'm going to go ahead and polish up those P2 facets now. Now that the pavilion is completely polished, I transferred the stone over and started cutting the crown facets. So this is the other side of the stone. This is the C1 tier and I'm cutting it with a 500 grit lap. The girdle here is way too thick, so I'm going to keep cutting the C1 and C2 facets until it's about a millimetre thick. Here's the C2 set of facets, cut with the 500 grit lap. And just as we did with the pavilion, we're going to go ahead and go over all these facets with the 3000 grit lap. Now we're going to go ahead and polish the crown starting with the C1 facets. Then moving on to the C2 facets. Here are the fully polished C1 and C2 facets. To make sure the meet points all meet up perfectly, I'm going to recut the C3 facets with a 3000 grit lap and then polish them. Here are the C3 facets. They look frosted here and they look pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and polish those facets.
And now we're going to go ahead and cut the table. The table is cut at zero degrees with a 3000 grit lap. Here you can see it's that big frosted facet. And the final step now is that we're going to polish the table. The total machine time was about 15 and a half hours. And here we are, fully polished. So here's the final stone off the top. So you can see with a little bit of patience and some attention to detail, you can produce a really beautiful stone using the Gem Creator. I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I did making this stone. Cheers.